Hi, I'm Brian, I wrote CodeKit, and this is how you can configure the app to use your desired starting options. I have on my desktop a folder named Demo Site. I know it's been in CodeKit before because inside that Demo Site folder, there's a file named config.codekit. Now, Demo Site isn't in the app right now, but last time it was there, CodeKit saved all of the settings about the files and the project in general to this file, config.codekit, so that the next time I add Demo Site to the app, I can get it back exactly the way I last left it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pretend like Demo Site has never been in the app before. I'm going to delete that config.codekit file. Then I'll drag Demo Site onto CodeKit like it's the first time it's been in the app. And I'll notice that my files had some initial options pre-populated. Here, JS Hint is being used to check syntax, and I have Minified selected as the option for the output style. And if I go into Project Settings, I'll find that these are all pre-populated with some options. Where did CodeKit get those? Well, you can configure all of that. All you need to do is go to File, Edit Defaults for New Projects. The top bar changes colors to let you know you're editing the global defaults. And here, it's just like editing project settings for a regular project, except any changes I make here will apply to new projects or new folders the very first time they're added to CodeKit. Now, that's an important point. If my project already has a config.codekit file and I add it to the app, CodeKit is going to use the settings from this file to make sure that this project comes back exactly the way you last left it. Those global defaults that we just saw will only apply when I add a folder that doesn't already have a settings file in it. And that's it. That's all there is to configuring the initial starting defaults for CodeKit. Thanks for using my app and take care.